Altair. He's after me. He saw me. He will kill me and my wife and children. What a mess. Have you come to end my misery? No. Al Mualim has more compassion than I thought. Could you help me then? A knight of the Hospitalier is after me. If you could eliminate him, you would do a fellow a real honor. I've been here in Akar since the Crusaders were laying siege. I can give you important information in return. You just apologize for the family sixty-nine. You need something? Pour la gloire du Seigneur! Ton âme brûlera en enfer! He's dead. Oh, I am extremely grateful. So, here is what I know about Garni de Naplouz, Grand Master of the Hospitalier. Garni lets his patients roam the halls of his fortress. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace and the rooftops are guarded by archers. I'm sure this information will help deliver Garni to the gates of hell. What is it now? Why are you doing this? What have I done? The family sick can die. This will teach you nothing. Move. 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 I'm catching up. Fool. you've already not. Hold hope close. There are many in need of aid, and only one of him. He works tirelessly to serve and save, but these things take time. No, please, don't leave my Just a big boy, please. Oh, you are not the Get 
Please, don't leave my attention. Go pet to someone else. Please. A few coins. All I ask for is a few coins. No, you don't understand. I'm not poor, sir. Done why? Never end. Get up, fight you. You shouldn't have done that. This is too easy. Good lord, don't make me laugh. I can kill you with my eyes closed. I'm supposed to be afraid of you. I can kill you with my eyes closed. This is too easy. Good lord, don't make me laugh. I'm supposed to be afraid of you. I can kill you with my eyes closed. <laughs> You need to be taught a lesson. This is too easy. I'm supposed to be afraid of you. Good Lord, don't make me laugh. Good Lord, don't make me laugh. Good Lord, don't make me laugh. Mercy! Mercy! Don't kill me. I'll do anything you want. You serve Gagné? He... he makes me say these things. To keep the people from revolting. To give them hope and make them eager for his touch. Tell me everything you can about the man. Y yes of course. I, I know what happens within. What he really does. Go on. Not sick, not wounded when they enter, but once he's got his hands on them, then the pain begins. He's no healer then. Just a sick, cruel man. I, I don't know what it is he does to make them cry so loud, but it must be stopped before more are made to suffer. Will you stop him? It's why you still live. He is cautious. You must pick the proper time. Go to him when he attends to the patients. He forgets the world around him, becomes lost in his work. Yes, strike then. I thank you for the information. Then you'll let me go? Would that I could. He should stop acting like a child. such a thing. That hurt! Stop it, please! Be gone, monks. What is wrong? <laughs> Tell me, please! Get in and on, This God. is where you die! Ha! <laughs> I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money, I beg. 
So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? It's a waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. beliefs. Though the road is long and your trials many, know that God watches over you. It is his hand. Is there a reason for his nonsense? No, please, don't leave like this. Leave this place. Isn't Altair? Remember me? No? I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. 
What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. Does he really have a I beg of you, I beg of you, both of you, He should please. stop acting like a child. What is that man thing? What is he gone mad? I won't help him. But I need Back. money, sir. I'm impressed. I'm sick, Not enough to change my mind about you, but since Al Muelim commands, here is what I know about your next target. Garnier hides in the Hospitalier Fortress. Getting into the fortress will require cunning. That's all I have for you. What the hell is Let he doing? Why are you doing that? Thief! This'll teach you not to steal. Let me go! Please! Mm. Thief! You'll die for that! You'll die for that! are routed at the every turn. We cast them out of coins. the car and push them from the countryside. He's going to hurt someone. I know. Oh. Stand firm. Do not give up. Without our support, Richard and his men cannot hope to free the Holy Land. We mm. must do all we can mm. to aid them in their cause. Such a strange mind. Altair, how fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
Stay strong, citizens. Remain fixed in your beliefs. Though the road is long and your trials many, know that God watches over you. Hold <laughs> your hands and guide our warriors to victory. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself! Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to you the You can't others. keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. I am so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? you feeling? What have you done to me? Ah, yes, the pain. It hurts at first. I won't lie. Assassin! Let go your burden. Ah, I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But the herbs mixtures and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It 
It's not what I believe. It's what I know. News, Altai. Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altai. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? 
You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. Aren't you tired? What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code.
Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. 